Hi, my name is Jean Robert Souza, and I am one of the presenters of the weird and wonderful world of Korea, all things about cat. All of us are dead, the top Netflix global charts and showed Korean Zumi drama's power. But before all of us are dead, there was a fantastic Zumi drama kingdom, starting to make the fame of the Korean Zumi series. Netflix drama series Kingdom, set in alternate Joseon dynasty, filled with zombies, is much loved by many people internationally, both as political thriller and a zombie horror. The television series captivated the audience with its gripping storyline and outstanding performance by the actors. But there was one more element in the series that caught the audience's attention. That was Gat, a Korean traditional man's hat. Even when fighting against zombies and fights that would decide life or death, the fashionable people in the Joseon dynasty just won't stop in wearing Gat. So this time, the Korea Culture Center is delighted to present the story of Gat for this episode of the Weird and Wonderful World of Korea series. Since when did Koreans start wearing Gat? The usage of Gat goes back to the age of the Three Kingdoms, a period between 57 BC to 668 AD, the first instance of records of Gat showing in tombs. A pen-shaped gut, distinct from ordinary hat in its pattern and shape, is depicted on the murals of the Ganjing Chong, an ancient Gokordio tomb. Other sources tell the existence of gut, written in historic book Memorabilia of the Three Kingdoms, called Sangukyusa, Yongsong, 38th Kingdom to rule the Kingdom of Sidla, took off the head hood and worn clean gut in his dream. During the Gurkhdia dynasty, Gat was designed as an official hat for government bureaucrats and became a symbol of social status and government position. In the Joseon dynasty, the materials and manufacturing of Gat became diverse, so many different types of Gat appeared. Why did wearing Gat become so commonplace in Joseon? Joseon adopted Confucianism teachings as a national religion. One of the key teachings was filial piety, treasuring one's body as gift by one's parents, including hair. So, men of Joseon did their hair up to a top knot called Sangtu, then wore a hat to protect the top knot. After all, this was well mannered gentlemen should do in Joseon. It was inevitable that different types of colors for Gat would develop for different occasions eras, social status, and fashion trends. What type of cat comes to mind when you think about cat? Yes, this is Hamnip, which you commonly see in the drama series. During the Johnson period, these black cats were restricted to men who passed the civil service exams. In a narrow definition, the term gat refers to Hamnip. When young banks or the nobility were outside, they were Hamnip. Samo is a thimble-shaped hat worn by government officials, along with an official uniform. Commoners could only wear it when they got married. Chong Chowan, a more angled hat worn by young bunks at home and teachers. A wide cap, banip, was worn during times of national mourning. It's crafted in the same manner as a black cap, except that its finish is done with hemp, which makes it white. Commoners and merchants wore a variant called perani, woven from split bamboo. Oh my god, Korean god, there were so many kinds of god. Not only they were practical, but they also represented one social status. Percival Lawrence Lowell, an American author and astronomer who traveled Joseon in the 19th century, wrote in his essay, Joseon, the land of the morning calm, a sketch of Korea, especially in Korea, the land of hats, is the hat honored. Indeed, it's there that one first realized the infinite possibilities of the Janus hat. After Emperor Gojong of the Korean Empire ensured the ordinance prohibiting top knots in 1895, a fedora was introduced. Many people still chose to wear gut 
At the same time, commoners were now allowed to wear hamnip, and all social distinctions by custom dissipated. The gat culture continued even during the Japanese colonial period. Even today, you can find people wearing traditional Korean outer coats, durumagi, with gat. Most gats are cylindrical, with a wide ring on a bamboo frame. Gat is specially transparent, and is tied with gat string is made with horn horse hair. Artisans who make gat are called ganil chunk. As gat making involves a complex series of techniques involving various materials, it was designated as intangible cultural property number no. four of Korea on December 24, 1964. Through this video, we hope that you now know more about GAT. GAT is Korea's beautiful cultural asset, don't you think? Now, let's make GAT not with horse hair or with a bamboo frame, but with everyday objects.